Hello, my Aries friends. Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a message for you from Spirit. Should you choose to hear it and apply it, that could change your life's trajectory right now when you hear it. Whatever information's in there could change the trajectory of your life in a beautiful, positive way should you choose to accept it. Raven, Shaman, you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Somebody here is a healer. Starting something amazing. It's like you rise very high with your wisdom. You have incredible power because of your wisdom. What is the divine bringing to you? The left-hand side of things is what the divine brings to you, the energy coming your way. What's the divine bringing to you? Tend to the small things. They're giving you the opportunity right now to do a general sight check, I feel. To build a solid foundation. Something about four corners, four solid foundations. Tend to the small things, writing things on paper, getting the nitty down to the nitty gritty of how it is you want to build, what it is you want to create. There's some sort of watching and waiting energy also. So tending to the small things while you watch and wait. There's some sort of dark, dark energy that you try that you don't try, you you expel from others a brand new beginning you're in uncharted waters i tell you what the uncharted sea the divine's taking you on a journey of epic proportion leading the way is your star of hope it's like i feel as though you are becoming a wise teacher you're putting your own knowledge and wisdom in someone else's lantern so that it can be their light forward as much as it has been your light forward. The teacher, the shaman, the wisdom, use your gifts for good. Glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Claim your role as this teacher. You're going to be able to help illuminate people to a new way of doing being. What you can give is with the right hand. That's what you're going to be able to give others is illumination. How it is they need to, to get up on with things um, illuminating things from a much deeper level I would say teaching even from a much deeper level than you have done previously I feel as though there's a need to when you're teaching there's a need to to like it, the, the things that are being spoken can be considered very blanket statements. There's some sort of need to get down deeper and make it more of a personal experience for each person you speak to. Uh, getting down deeper to the nitty gritty, tend to the smaller aspects of it unchartered seas because you're used to using the words you use the divine is illuminating you in order to illuminate others surfacing see this this new surfacing of a new way of doing and being it's like right beneath the surface oh my gosh i want to say that some of you you move forward you do what you do you feel maybe a little stressed about it at times but there's a, a bubbling up from beneath the surface and it's going to illuminate how you need to move forward next, how to proceed next. I feel as though you're absolutely being led. You're in uncharted territory or you're about to be if you're not now. Tend to the small things because you may not have time in the near future to tend to those small things. You're feeling weary, maybe a little tired. Uh, not sure about what's going to go on. The divine's asking you not to give up. Tend to the small things if you can't do the big and do not give up on this dream. It means so much more to this world than you can possibly imagine. The uncharted sea. Juggling a lot. There's a lot going on. A decision needs to be made here. 
about which journey is, which journey, which gift, which journey, what's the best way to go about it? The best way to go about it is to hop in, is to hop in the ocean. Not to decide what you're going to do with your feet firmly planted. It's to take a leap of faith and to trust openly, wide open. Open your arms absolute wide and embrace all of what the divine is bringing your way. Even if it causes you fear and trepidation. <laughs> Release your fears. That's what this card's about. Do not let your fears hold you back. There's more going on here than meets the eye. You have important psychic insights. Someone could be dealing with a cancer where some sort of healing is coming between this in this circumstance or situation. An illumination, something coming to the surface that helps clear, clear something up for you. There's something that you have to say, have to say to somebody that is going to create, or they say to you, an illumination of epic proportion. Tell me about illuminations. Not seeing the positive in this illumination. It's Eeyore energy. Oh, hum. Hum de dum. Actually, I almost feel like you're tired of hearing someone whine over and over and over again about their crap. I think you're going to be able to give some sort of illumination to help those that can't get past their depression. There's something about depression and addiction here. Surfacing is a partnership. There's a partnership surfacing, uh, working together, creating something together. It's just below the surface. Communication. I feel this is a, a new spiritual gift for you the ability to move it's almost like move heaven and earth at the same time with the words of wisdom that you have this is incredibly powerful and with great power comes what great responsibility right not necessarily seeing the positive in this amount of power however there's a need to be gentle but powerful get more down to the nitty gritty and the small things about what's going on with people as opposed to blanket statements. Something about that for all y'all have a, yeah, it's almost like you have a whole book of blanket statements. Or I hear someone saying, oh, I wrote the book on this, Halo. Yeah, something like that. Let's get a postcard from Spirit for my Aries friends. Postcard from Spirit. Oh, I got two. Dearest you, the simply that powerful law of cause and effects means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good, can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well. If it feels as if there is no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but is essential for your well-being. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You do not have to explain. Just say no, gently but firmly. Then go for a soak. Life will wait for you and bring you yourself back to center, replenished and ready for more adventure. We love you so very much. I hope this resonates for you guys. Blessings to you.